Welcome back. This is PPMA TV. Now I'm very excited for this one. I'm here with Ian from Allrad. How are you, sir? Fine, thank you. Um, now you were just telling me this company, this business has been 50 years in the making, is that right? 50 years. My father started it. We started in radiation instrumentation yeah. and uh, then followed, gone into nu followed the nuclear physicists into uh, making things laze and uh, then detecting the things that were lazing and then from that into process control and machine vision. Wow, so evolved over the 50 years. I, I mean, be, the conversation would really start is how much have you seen that change over the, this period of time? Um, immensely. I, I, <laughs> I started uh, when computers didn't exist and uh, uh, well, it was just starting to be, or a computer was a big thing in the corner and there was only going to be one in a company. To, uh, to now you've got five computers in your pocket or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so talk us through what you have on the stand today because there's some fascinating stuff here. So as I say, we, we, we go from light production to detection and uh, manipulation. So starting over here, we've got uh, some uh, laser diode modules here where you can produce light under control either as a spot or a, a line. Uh, so the lines are used over a moving um, production line so you can do 3D imaging and the spot sometimes to give a reference point within an image for where you measure from. Uh, we've also got filters so you, you can either split the light up with the diffraction grating or the filter to specify what, you, what you've got. Uh, that one's just another laser, for a machine vision laser where you can focus the line very f for the bits. And then we've got a laser marker. Yeah. Uh, so it's a, a small laser marker for OEM. For It's, it's niche is for serializing. So yeah. it, instead of doing big labels, if you just want to, a small, cheap, lower cost laser for just putting serial numbers or a, a small model number on a thing, you can get two lines of text about 25 mil long. So you've really just covered all angles really in, yeah. in, in what the customer would need? What the customer would need and uh, we can then provide you with the equipment for you to, pr to help produce your system yeah. along. And then when we produce the light then we go into the detection. So my colleague Julian will take over. Let's talk to Julian. Hello Julian. Hello there. So Hi. lovely to see you. Let's talk about detection. Yes, um, yeah, well um, detection. So we're here at the um, PPMA show because uh, we have a lot of camera systems that can be used in the uh, process packaging and automation industry. And um, so in terms of uh, detection, we have uh, the standard detection that you have in this industry, um, looking at uh, quality inspection, quality control, that type of thing. But uh, for Allrad, we have a very wide range of cameras and our speciality is uh, looking at the whole spectrum for imaging. So not just the visible, we work from the ultraviolet through visible, near infrared, shortwave infrared, all the way up to terahertz imaging. So. Um, Nowadays, there's a, a lot more sophistication coming into process and packaging. There's a lot more um, sort of scientific cutting edge where you're not only looking at the um, sort of traditional uh, labeling and QA, but by looking outside of the spectrum, you can do additional QA on the fly with product, which is, you know, very important for a lot of um, uh, conformity these days. So. Um, so what we have here is a, a, a very big range of cameras, um, as, as well as the automation process control. We run everything from um, scientific instrumentation through to the medical area as well. So we've got some examples of uh, microscopy cameras here. Um, we have uh, a lot of uh, different type of uh, lenses here um, and the, the applications that Allrad uh, focuses on is uh, really really quite wide. So in terms of the applications is that something that you guys work on as well yeah, to make absolutely. sure each person you know each yeah. each customer is catered for in a different way? Yeah absolutely because every customer's uh, requirement is uh, generally unique so um, our, our ability is to be able to solve individual customers problems because they're, they're all unique they're never standard and um, we, we basically have uh, enough range of kit to be able to solve uh, most of those yeah, uh, those those, those questions. <laughs> yeah, that's fantastic. And how fa how fast is this technology moving on? Um, it, it's moving very fast. I mean, for example. Um, we, we're moving uh, from the visible into the um, near infrared and thermal area because nowadays uh, there's a focus on packaging, reducing packaging using a lot more cardboard packaging that's environmentally friendly. So uh, we're using that to look at uh, you know hot melt glue patterns in the in the production process, and that that's helping you know helping the environment and it's uh, a use of this uh, technology to, uh, to to improve that area. 
Let's talk 3D imaging then, shall Absolutely. we? Absolutely. So uh, we've got some uh, uh, very special uh, 3D imaging side of things. We use that for uh, both inline and offline inspection. Yeah. Um, we're actually working together with um, uh, a system integrator called uh, Observant Innovation, who are here on our stand as well. And uh, if I can hand you to, over to Gareth. Gareth is... Um, basically responsible for the uh, 3D surface reconstruction system. Lovely. Thank you so much, Gareth. How, how are you, sir? Very well, thank you. Such a pleasure to talk to you guys today because I think this is absolutely incredible, the range of what you guys do. But talk me through your part of 3D imaging. Well, we're a, a guest on the Allrad stand and um, they're very nice and very kind to us and they've been very supportive and we buy our camera equipment from them, which is where the relationship comes in. And uh, through Julian, who you've just met, um, we were introduced uh, to a, um, a well-known um, aviation company based uh, in the um, north of England. And um, one of the uh, things we were asked to do was to have a look at designing a weld inspection system for them with Allrad and uh, as our sort of technical uh, support. And um, so we, we went, we had a look, and um, we have been developing software for a very, very long time, 3D software, image processing software, decades of, of expertise. And, um, and one of the reasons that we were brought in is because we have a very advanced imaging system for yeah. monitoring industrial areas and industrial processes. But it's also very good at looking at very, very small things at very, very high resolution. And um, so we, we developed this, um, we turned um, we turned swords into plowshares um, by turning our stuff that had been developed for the military, for, um, for police and emergency services into an industrial monitoring and inspection system. And uh, yeah, so it's, it was a very exciting pro um, process. Can we see this in action? Because, uh, you know, we have the camera set up over here. So, <clears throat> Let me come around. Let's get the camera around here as well, because this is fantastic. I'm going to come this side of you, sir. So, so you can show our camera. All right. So, and so what we have is we have uh, just beyond the screen here, down yep. there, you can see that we have one of our cameras um, uh, pointed at a turbine drum over there. And um, what you're seeing here on this screen is a live feed from that camera. It doesn't look very interesting. Lots of things in industry are not very interesting unless you know <laughs> exactly what you're looking you're at. Looking for, so what this does, it allows you to have an ultra high definition image. This is nine times HD. And by selecting a feature that you want to look at, you can zoom in, look at it in detail like this. You can then take one of the secondary high definition areas and zoom in as an overview so you can understand contextually where that feature is in here. And if you want to, you can have a third, a fourth. And in fact, the system supports up to nine HD images. And the reason that it does so is because for industrial overview imaging for production lines, you might want to have one single big high resolution image of an industrial area and then be able to zoom in on different parts of the industrial processes. Anyway, so this was a very exciting uh, weld inspection system that we've been very, uh, working on and developing. And by pure luck, um, one day when we were um, under a bit of pressure, uh, we had a phone call from Sony, and we'd bought, uh, we'd, put, uh, we'd um, borrowed um, one of their um, new polarizing cameras, which is an, ast an astonishing piece of kit. It's been around for a year and a half or so, and um, and I had a 48-hour window in which to return the loan camera or do something useful with it. And by pure accident, I was able to point it at the weld, this weld, and I was able to use the output of the polarizing camera with some software we developed many years ago, and I hit the button, and I suddenly realized I'd invented, by pure accident, <laughs> a piece of um, uh, equipment and some software that I could use to do not just weld inspection, but the reconstruction in 3D of that weld, wow. so that you could then do analysis on the weld for features, and also for um, other uh, usages, such as doing scratches on the titanium manganese alloy rings in turbine drums. And of course, it's, it's the same technology can be used for inspecting scratches in all kinds of surfaces. And um, so, and what does that look like? Well, here's the uh, software that does the uh, camera imaging. And in the background, I already have running the 3D um, reconstruction software, which is based upon uh, a games engine that we've developed over the last Lord knows how many years. 
Um, I hesitate to say, but I think I, I did my first version of this um, as a way of making money when I was at college. And I wrote games uh, programs for the Sinclair Spectrum back in 84, 85. So it was a long time ago, but it, it's, been, it's been a great, a great story. So with this, we can uh, select one of the surfaces that we've been studying and we've been using for calibration. And we can look at one of the data sets. This is a cross section of the well, which has been um, imaged here from the original photographs. And we also have here a, a scratch on the surface yeah. of a turbine drum, a turbine ring. And here's another scratch and another scratch. And we have some test areas like terrain and sort of bumpy surfaces for calibration. If I take this, um, um, if I take this uh, scratch, and I now process the original photographs, which I can't show you, otherwise I'd have to kill you because it's top <laughs> secret. But the process, though, might be top secret, but what results is not. And if I press the button, it's just created a 3D data set from the original photographs. This is about 2,000 lines of resolution, and um, it's a pure 3D uh, object of very high quality. Um, if I now go to a place where I can do a bit of false lighting, I'll just put the false lighting on, and then, because it's prettier, and um, I'm not going to take the spec. The spec is the specular reflection is what the polarizing light from the Sony camera removes. Yeah. And then if I go to a 3D interface, I can then rotate that to prove that it's a pure 3D object, rotate it back like this. And then once I've got it in memory and I can interrogate it as a three-dimensional object, I can select one of a number of what we call locations of interest on the surface and take that, for example, I can then apply a digital ruler. Wow, that's fantastic. And I can rotate the digital ruler. Yeah. And then to make it even prettier, we have a three-dimensional contour ruler, which can be put on top. And this, too, can be rotated like that. And when you want to explore it, you just hit the button. And it's just like a game of Pong. The ball bounces backwards and forwards. And the nice thing about this is that we're then able to capture this profile data of a scratch and then output it for 3D printing or for analysis or to a third party for use in a CAD project. So yeah. it's, a very, it's a very developed system and, uh, and you get very, very exact um, information down to microns uh, on the surface. Uh, I didn't mention that earlier, I should have. This is a 10 millimeter by 10 millimeter section and we're able to image down to, a, it's very, very small, that's yeah, yeah. one centimeter. That's incredible. And uh, we can image down to about three or four microns. Absolutely fascinating yeah. stuff, isn't it? And you stumbled upon this by accident. Uh, I would say it was accident. Um, I, yeah, it was good luck. Uh, yeah. Fantastic luck and, and fantastic talent and skill. And I'll be honest with you, if Pong still exists, I will give you a game of it. I, I'm afraid that I would beat you hands down. No. I, I didn't have any questions about that at all. I know you would. Um, honestly, Gareth, absolute pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much. That was fascinating. Thank you very much. Thank you.